Hey YouTube, Opinionative Reviewer here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get a semi-untethered jailbreak for iOS 5. Now it's not untethered and it's not tethered, it's semi-tethered. Which means if your battery dies, your phone reboots, or you turn it off, then your phone will be able to boot up. So you're, you're not stranded, but you're not going to be able to use certain things, which I'm going to explain to you now. So... Firstly, you have to understand the difference between a tethered, a untethered, and a semi-tethered. Tethered jailbreaks, you cannot reboot your device once you power it off. You have to use Red Snow or iBooty or whatever to boot tethered. Semi-tethered, you're going to be able to reboot, but you're not going to be able to use anything from Cydia, nor will you be able to use a couple apps, uh, to name a few, which is the Mail app, Safari, and Cydia. So yes. Now, an untethered jailbreak, you, it doesn't cause any problem. You can reboot and use anything. With that being said, let's jump right into it. Firstly, you're going to go into CDR and you're going to have to add a source where you can get this semi-tethered thing from. So, you're going to go ahead into, you're going to go into CDR, go into Manage. You're going to go into Sources. Then, you're going to hit Edit and then hit Add up to the top. And you're going to add this source, Duh. Big Boss dot org slash semi tethered semi tether. Then you're gonna add the source. You're gonna let it run through and add it. And after it's added, only one thing is gonna be inside that uh, source, and that's gonna be something called semi tether. And you're gonna use that. Now there's a couple things you got to keep uh, in mind with this and I'm going to explain to them as soon as we finish at it and as soon as I reboot and show you that you can reboot. So now the source is here. You can see we're going to tap on that source and then you're going to see it in here. If you don't see it, just go ahead and hit refresh on your Cydia and then it should, it should come up. So right now we're going to go in, we're going to add it and we're going to just go ahead and hit install. After you install it, you're going to have to reboot your device. Don't worry about it. Your device should boot. And this device is on iOS 5. I, sh I don't think I have to show you guys that, but as you can see, and it is jailbroken because you can see. Now we're going to have to reboot. Now while this is rebooting, I'm going to explain a couple things to you. The biggest thing you have to remember when you install it, do not, I repeat, do not enable any notification center widgets from the notification center because your widgets will be there but then you should have enabled them so i'm going to show you on my ipod touch right now forgive me if it's too up it's too close uh my device is booting behind there as you can see you see uh this these will still be here but if 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 i go ahead and enable it right now my device is going to it's going to go into a boot loop because this one i installed it on this already so if you boot your device tether do not enable any of those it's just going to go into an infinite respring loop and you're not you you're going to have to boot tether so this is basically for people that it's like a fail safe but everything doesn't work just in case you have to reboot while you're uh, at uh, on the road or something like that and you're not close to a computer that's exactly what it's for so you can see now my device is booted up but my so my Cydia, my safari nor my mail app none of them will be working you see it's just gonna stay blank like that nothing is gonna load that's the only three apps that we know right now I, I have a link in the description where you can read up on this where I read up on it you can obviously download a web browser from uh, inside the app store that you can use, but you can't use this. You can download a Google uh, a Gmail app where you can check your mail and stuff like that. But yeah, those are key things to use. Please do not enable any notification center widget that are from Cydia if, you're, if you booted your device using a semi-tethered. So right now, my device is booted using semi-tethered. So if I go into my notification center, uh, if I go into notifications and enable a notification send a widget from Insidia, my device is going to be stuck in a boot loop and I will have to go and boot my device tethered and if I'm not by a computer then I'm screwed so that's key things to keep in mind it's semi tethered when an untethered jailbreak comes out I'm definitely going to make a video on that until then this is what we have with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day